anything can happen in WWE, but not all of it is age appropriate. Now I seriously can't believe Vince McMahon has not gotten more backlash for doing this. During a WWE show in the mid-90s, the company had a young fan named LaToya Johnson act as the guest re announcer for a match between Diesel and enhancement talent Tommy Angel. However, due to a combination of inexperience and nervousness, LaToya had some trouble. It wasn't good, but anyone could be sympathetic to the young fan. However, Vince McMahon said this. Okay. Tanya Johnson, hooked on phonics. In case you didn't know, Hooked on Phonics is an education program used to help children learn to read. Had social media been around when McMahon made this comment, he would have been out of WWE a lot sooner. Now you'll be glad you are not CM Punk in this next clip. Going into the 2011 Royal Rumble match, CM Punk was the leader of the Nexus, and he had a really smart plan. Punk had the other members of Nexus protect him, so they would outnumber everyone, and Punk could win the Rumble. It was a good strategy, but it backfired in Punk's face, literally. After CM Punk, the first member of Nexus to enter the Rumble was Husky Harris. Harris tried to shield his leader, but instead, Husky's butt ended up getting pressed into CM Punk's face. Punk don't want to catch the breath because Husky Harris's butt's right in his face. While I'm guessing you probably wouldn't want to be CM Punk, you probably wish you were this kid. On Monday Night Raw, Natalia was making her entrance and decided to take a page out of her uncle, Bret Hart's, playbook and give her glasses to a young fan. Natalia picked a girl in the crowd, but a little boy also wanted to get close to the WWE wrestler and ended up touching Natalia's chest. WWE's mission statement is to put smiles on people's faces, and Natalia put a smile on that boy's face without even realizing it. What's crazy is this is not the first time that this has happened. Almost 10 years earlier, Natalia was making her entrance when a young boy in the crowd didn't realize where he was placing his left hand, causing him to touch something he shouldn't have. Now, what's even crazier than that is what this kid did to Alexa Bliss. After a match, Nia Jax was carrying Bliss on her shoulder when a young fan slapped Alexa on her backside. Where are these kids' parents? Speaking of kids, this 16-year-old got himself permanently banned from all WWE events. In 2017, the most popular family in sports was the Ball family. To capitalize on their fame, WWE had LeVar Ball and his sons appear on Raw. The Miz hosted an in-ring interview with the basketball family, but it was cut off by the Miz's rival, Dean Ambrose. Had everything gone normally, then this would have been a pretty forgettable and inoffensive moment. However, the youngest member of the Ball family, LaMelo, decided to make this moment unforgettable with just four words. You cannot be saying the N-word on a PG show, and WWE ended up issuing an apology soon after. We've seen some pretty violent stuff in WWE, but what Randy Orton did in this match is the most gruesome thing ever. In 2018, Randy Orton and Jeff Hardy fought in a Hell in a Cell match. Hell was definitely the right word, because this match was absolutely brutal, and both men left the match wounded. However, the sickest moment was when Orton slid a screwdriver through Jeff Hardy's earlobe and started pulling and twisting it. It would have been one thing if this happened during the Attitude Era, but this was the PG Era. How did WWE get away with showing this? Wrestlers tend to be 90% naked, so they have to be extremely careful they don't accidentally show too much, but even the pros make mistakes. In the main event of Monday Night Raw, John Cena fought Dolph Ziggler inside a steel cage. Ziggler was trying to escape, so Cena grabbed a hold of Dolph's tights to pull him back in. However, in doing so, fans accidentally saw more of Dolph Ziggler than they were expecting. Even though John Cena ultimately won the match, the show off did live up to his name that night. However, several years later, an even worse accident happened. At the 2020 Elimination Chamber event, Daniel Bryan and Drew Gulak wrestled one-on-one. -on -one. The match was a technical masterpiece, but that is not what fans are talking about. Multiple times during the match, Daniel Bryan's ring gear was yanked around, which caused his junk to accidentally be shown on live TV. I'm guessing whoever made Bryan's trunks was fired after this match. With that said, at least Daniel Bryan's ring gear stayed together. One WWE wrestler's trunks actually ripped apart during a match. In 2009 on ECW, Zack Ryder was set to take on a local wrestler named Rory Fargo. This normally would have been an easily forgettable match had one accident not happened. During the fight, Zack Ryder grabbed his opponent by the trunks, which is nothing out of the ordinary. But for whatever reason, the trunks completely ripped, causing Rory Fargo's junk to be exposed on national television. 
Yeah, that's not EG. I don't even think that's TV14. Ryder and Fargo somehow made it through the match, but it's not too surprising that WWE never had Rory wrestle again after this. Now, speaking of Zack Ryder, he was involved in another adult moment, but I think he liked this one a lot more. At Survivor Series 2017, rosters from both Raw and SmackDown went head to head to prove they were the better brand. In the weeks leading up to the pay per view, wrestlers from both shows waged an all out war on each other. It was so bad that even the cameramen weren't safe. Chairs and equalizers. Oh, man. However, in the chaos, something very inappropriate would happen. During an episode of Raw, SmackDown fired the first shot by invading WWE's flagship show. Wrestlers from the blue brand started attacking everyone who's associated with the red brand. Now that I say that out loud, this kind of sounds like gang warfare. Anyways, eventually, the female wrestlers from both brands start fighting backstage. However, Natalia wasn't looking where she was grabbing and accidentally touched fellow SmackDown wrestler Zack Ryder's groin area. Thankfully, human resources didn't get involved, and Natalia later said it was her most iconic moment. However, this next moment isn't joked about as much. At No Way Out in 2012, the Divas champion Layla was set to defend her title against Beth Phoenix. The two had a competitive match, but ultimately, the champion prevailed. However, as Layla was securing the victory, she got a bit handsy and touched Beth Phoenix's chest. Maybe in the Attitude Era, this would not have been a big deal, but in the PG Era, it was definitely inappropriate. One of the best parts about going to a WWE show is bringing signs. Usually, people just want to cheer on their favorite wrestler or make a funny joke. However, there have been some inappropriate and downright creepy fan signs, like this one that was directed at Roman Reigns during his match against The Undertaker at WrestleMania. Speaking of The Undertaker, look at the message this fan had for the dead man at Survivor Series in 1997. Or how about this sign directed at the Bizarre one gold dust. Yeesh. However, this sign that appeared on SmackDown was on another level, and in case you're wondering, that sadly is true. But the most infamous of all WWE fan signs is this one from the 1980s directed at Roddy Piper. WWE fans are a different breed. This cameraman let his intrusive thoughts win, and it probably cost him his job. The beautiful people were a faction of primarily female wrestlers. The members would rotate, but Angelina Love and Velvet Sky were the two that started the faction and were almost always a part of it. A signature part of their entrance involved Love and Sky posing on the edge of the ring and letting the pigeons loose. Every man watching was thinking the same thing when this happened, but the camera guy actually acted on it. During one entrance, the camera operator decided to reach out and try to turn this into a 4D experience. He tried to play it off, but I'm pretty sure that camera guy was unemployed after the show. Wrestlers have to wear pretty tight ring attires and they can accidentally reveal a lot. On an episode of SmackDown in 2011, Edge teamed with Kelly Kelly to face Vicky Guerrero and Drew McIntyre. The match had the ad stipulation that if Vicky's team lost, then she would be fired. Not surprisingly, the team featuring an 11-time world champion won. After the match, Vicky begged for a job, which got Edge a bit, uh, excited. I guess he is called the Radar Superstar. Even when WWE was TV 14, the F word was a no-no word and wrestlers weren't allowed to say it around other people. However, anything can happen on live TV and WWE has gotten hit by a few F bombs over the years. However, the most shocking F-bomb in WWE history came from the man who banned the word, Vince McMahon. In 2016, Shane McMahon returned to WWE. His father, Vince, decided to pull a Teddy Long and had Shane go one-on-one -on -one with The Undertaker at WrestleMania. Pretty typical WWE stuff, but then Vince McMahon dropped this. PG. Oh, and by the way, Shane McMahon definitely got that beating. It's kind of crazy that Triple H is now the corporate face of WWE, considering the stuff he used to do back when he was a wrestler. This might be inappropriate, but are those real? Perfectly shaped, so round, and can I touch them? Of course. They're awesome, look at that. While the game did a lot of inappropriate things in his WWE career, this moment is one of the worst. In 1998, Triple H's faction, D-Generation X, was feuding The Rock's group, The Nation of Domination. DX won the battle that night, so it was time to celebrate. The game spotted a female fan in the crowd and motioned for her to take her shirt off. The woman did just that and gave the Camp Kings a little more as well. It wasn't bra, it, it was pressed! It was pressed! 
The most awkward part of this moment for Triple H is that he's gonna have to explain this to his three daughters. To find out who the children of Triple H are, and if we'll see them in WWE, watch this video.